Hello guys, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we finished up the first case, we went ahead and put Richard Wellington behind bars, and in this episode, we're going to go ahead and move two or three months back in time to the second case of this game, Reunion and Turnabout. Now, interesting thing about this, I might spend a little bit of time just on this screen so you could go ahead and skip ahead to the gameplay if you want to. Uh, Phoenix says that the events of this case happened two months ago, which it's a lot closer to three months ago because this is June 16th, and then I think the, sec the first case took place in early September. So it technically hasn't been a full three months, but I feel like if anyone was doing like the math in their head, they would just round up to three. Also, uh, as is the case with all of the Ace Attorney games, after you beat a case, you get some cool art. I think the art from the first game is the coolest, but you still get to see some uh, interesting character art whenever you beat a case, so... Another reason to strive for getting a not guilty verdict other than, you know, wanting to play through the game more and see the characters and the plot move forward. Anyways, June 16th, 3.34pm, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Also, the audio should be a bit better. Oh, hi. Uh, the audio should be a bit better because previously, I in the previous four episodes, I had... A bunch of settings turned on that I forgot that I had turned on and made the audio a bit quieter and a bit weirder. So my audio should be back to normal. Gosh, what voice do I give this guy? I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what voice to give every character in this series except for this guy. Uh, what depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do you? Uh, I guess... Uh, the interesting thing about his sprite is that he uh, moves up his glasses with his middle finger, which I think they changed in later releases because here in the West that's seen as a very, like, disrespectful thing to hold up your middle finger. Uh, but actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at that weather girl on TV. Alright, you think our rainy spell will take a break with a day of sun? It's what that girl said. I'd stick my life on it. Well, it's the weather. But that's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve, calling yourself a weather girl. She's just going to hear about my $1,500 suit. Um, about your case. Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Remind me never to end up under his knife. I'm here today because of this incident. Malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients lose their lives. Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Upsetting! Yes, yes, I heard you. I agree, it's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up was that nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet, and now listen good, and yet... That nurse had the nerve to go up and die before admitting to her wrongdoing. She didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me, and this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident, and crashes a car. Smash! Crunch! Instantly transforming her car into the accordion model. That's right. About a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. Fourteen victims of medical malpractice in the nurse's mysterious fatal accident. There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that crash. People said it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. Why would I? And now, I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those fourteen patients, not me! I think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. 
I'm, if, it, if it were me, I don't think I would want to go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to help me prove I'm innocent! Um, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator, right? No, this is something only you can do! Maya Fey, you know this girl, correct? Maya? Why would you know about her name? I heard you were working under her for a little while. Well, yes, I mean... Hey, wait a second here. I worked under her? Yes, am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if... Well, we worked a few trials together, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, yes, I heard. It must be lonely for you. What? Wait, I'm not... She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sorts of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Fay. Is Maya really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A channeling. I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Uh, oh. Maya. I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Fay family, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. And that's what she told me. I guess she learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling a spirit. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you again. Me? And that is why I've searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? And so... That is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. June 19, 1.25pm, Karine Village. And yes, I'm pronouncing it Karine, because I'm pretty sure that's how it would be pronounced in Japanese, I think. It's also how they pronounced it in the anime. So, this is Karine Village, Maya's hometown. Uh, why, hello there. Hmm. What an odd little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly. Hmm? Someone else is coming this way. Nick! M Maya, how are you? It's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated. Just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I'd known you were this close, I'd have, vis I'd have visited more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh. Well. Anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear training is going well for you. <laughs> Well, it's technically, it's Phoenix's first reunion with Maya, but we already talked to her in the previous case, which takes place in the future. So, yeah. First of all, uh, I'm going to do what I always do and examine pretty much everything. The biggest, most elegant of the buildings I can see from here. This is Fay Manor, the place Maya calls home. It's easy to be overwhelmed by its presence. A giant rock that seems to be reaching for the sky. Its origins are written on a beat-up old sign. It looks like this giant rock is called the Kurine Boulder. There's a really complex explanation written here, but long story short, it's a big stone for spirits to live in, or something like that. Rustic, thatch-roofed houses where the other villagers live line the streets. They're nowhere near as large or as nice as the manor in front of me. It's kind of odd that I don't see any other villagers walking around, though. An old bus stop. It says Karine Village on the signpost. The buses seem incredibly inconvenient since they only come three times a day. Let's go ahead and start talking to her, since Phoenix really hasn't done that in six months. Looks like you've finally become a fully-fledged medium taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? 
<laughs> Behold, the power of the Maya Intelligence Network. Let's see. 14 people died because of mal malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And, to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Um, so what is this Maya Intelligence Network, anyway? The tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray, a totally unbiased source. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. That's too scary, even for me. N yeah, I guess so. So, this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Karine Village, but I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were too, I think. That's probably true since the Fae ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only women of the village are mediums. So what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about the girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearl Fay, she's my cousin. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin. Wait, then that means... Is she also... Uh... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. S suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes for starters. Of course not. Pearly is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Karine Village. Aunt. Pearly's mother is my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Wait, I haven't presented my attorney's badge to you. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Alright. Good luck, Maya. Thanks! Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. June 19, Fay Manor, Meditation Room. Ah, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today. Aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It will rain cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face. I can't believe they allowed such misguided reports on the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splendid manor. No argument there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright. I have a copy for you, too. Guide map added to the court record. Let's actually take a look at the court record. We have our attorney's badge, of course, and then guide map, Fay Manor. A diagram of Fay Manor. Touch the check button for details. So yeah, it's a decently sized home. Especially for one that's up in the mountains like this. Uh, Maya Fay, my assistant until a year ago. Now she's training to be a spirit medium. Dr. Turner Gray, the director of the Gray Surgical Clinic, where the malpractice incident occurred. Pearl Fay, ran away as soon as she saw me. A girl who's Maya's little cousin. Is Turner Gray really 35? You could have told me he was like 45. You could have told me he was like 49 and I probably would have believed you. Anyways, I'm going to learn from my mistakes previously and present my attorney's badge first. Look, here's my attorney's badge. Are you trying to compete with me in my profession with that piece of scrap? Uh... I am a surgeon. Compared to your lawyers, I'm practically a saint. Yes, well, I don't exactly have any patience right now. But, and listen good, I'm not the one that made the mistake. This doctor needs to have his head examined. What have you got to say? Today's channel. What are you going to do once the nurse's spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have a red signed confession. Signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. <clears throat> One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then, on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. 
I'm sorry and I apologize for being negligent. That's what I'll have a right. With a confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Uh, oh, I see. So, how did you hear about Maya Fey? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the occult at the college. That girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Karine School of Channeling. The home, huh? And Miss Maya is the daughter of the master, I hear. Master? Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? I suppose so. Not really much else to do. We also have the winding way that we can go to. Ooh. June 19, Fey Manor Channeling Chamber. Wow. Such strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights. I guess they're candles. Good sir, who might you be? Ah, uh, I'm, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir? Is she talking about me? You are a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I've heard much about you from Mystic Maya. That's so. Mystic Maya? I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Nice to meet you. Ah, I had wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you will ask too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you've already forgotten. That was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistance, you surely would not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. Well, she's entirely correct. I mean... There's technically a case that I haven't played yet that takes place between this and case 4 where... You know, you don't need Maya's assistance, but... Uh, that hasn't been written yet, so... When did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? The past is the past, though. Let... Let's us speak of the present now. Okay, I know that there are... <laughs> or rather, there were a few typos that I completely skipped over because I just didn't notice them when I was playing through the first case. But come on. Let's us speak of the present now. Uh, thank you. You should presently look at my attorney's badge. That wasn't even grammatically correct, I don't think. Good sir! Ugh. We would like to begin the channeling at 3 o'clock. If you don't mind, good sir, would you mind allowing me to make preparations? Uh, um, sure. Go ahead. She's a fay, all right. Just as odd as the rest. And then, here's you. Good sir, is this... Okay, it's the same thing. Can't present anything to her, I guess. Let's talk about Maya. So why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir! Yes? How dare you be so rude and disrespectful toward Mystic Maya? Uh, I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. You must call her Mystic Maya. Um, uh, so about Mystic Maya, uh... It is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the Master. In actuality, she is the only one remaining. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Karine Channeling Technique. Okay, then where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fey family, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Kurain school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame, however, I will admit, 
I cannot even begin to compare to the lowliness of my power to the masters. So that's how it is. So today's channeling will be your first? Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong. It is usually easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident indeed. What does that even mean? The channeling will take place here, in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. So, this room is the channeling chamber? The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observed the session. Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Uh, oh. The secrets of the Kurine techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. That never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. It is also for your safety, good sir. If something were to go wrong. That is why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She is an adorable, angelic young girl. Oh, that odd... She is my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? What a cute daughter you have. <laughs> A pure heart that knows not the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I had the chance to, anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. Well, with arriving at Maya's home and meeting some of her family members, I think this is a good place to end off the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!